what's your dream? This is my favorite question, and I asked to myself a thousand times before I asked to others. And the beautiful answer I used to get from the innocent kid or the adults who have the kids' innocence. So, what did you want to be when you were a kid? When I was a kid, if I talk about myself, I, I mean, every moment was a dream for me. When I was two years old, I saw a butterfly and I wanted to sit on the back and fly, I, I want to fly on the butterfly. At the age of four, I had a weird dream to be a superman. I, I saw superman, I put a blanket behind me, I, want, I tried to be a superman and, and, I, I, and obviously I fell down from a chair. So, and at the age of six, I had a fever, my mother took me to a doctor and doctor's stethoscope touched me and I wanted to be a doctor. At the age of nine, I watched Godfather movie and uh, I wanted to be Don. At the age of 13, one of my friends appreciated my paintings. I used to paint that time, so, and uh, I wanted to be a painter. At the age of 15, my brother taught me a guitar chord. At the first time, actually, I was learning, and uh, I wanted to be a rock star. So, with the flows of dream, I forgot when I entered into my adolescent stage, uh, completed my in intermediate, and one fine day, my father asked me, what do you want to be, a doctor or an engineer? And that's how I became an engineer. So I worked in this. Uh, I, I worked in, co in a, I worked as a software engineer for three years. So then I realized that this is not why, what I wanted to be. So I, one fine day, I quit my software engineer job and uh, did my postgrad from School of Ideas and worked on various projects. I did, uh, I give digital solutions to some big corporates and uh, the first time ever it was happening some rural brand activation through Fox Theater called Jatra. So uh, I was, I, I got involved into that and in between I have started few of my own ventures. I started a uh, picture dictionary called EG Dictionary. It's having 2,50,000 word definition and uh, I co-founded a storytelling concept. It's called Fecha Kucha. Uh, when I realized that the Odisha needs uh, good filmmakers, then I co-founded uh, International Short Film Festival Bhubaneswar and uh, directed the film festival also. So, so in between the whole process, I met thousands of people whose stories are very much similar to me. Those people who actually wanted to be something, but at the end of their, uh, at the age of their adolescence stage, they have to choose a career path of uh, either uh, what they never wanted to be. Like my parents asked me, like, what do you want to be a doctor or engineer kind of things, and they, they became engineer or a doctor or the mo So then I realized that, okay, it's time to break those trends. Uh, uh, so, and many people uh, doesn't have gods to come out from that uh, stereotypical trend and uh, live throughout their life as a temporary life. So, uh, like uh, you can hear uh, many people that I will walk here for three years, then I will do something else. I will go to uh, abroad, walk over there for five years, then I will come back with a lot of money and start my own ventures and something like that. But I would like to say that it's, it's, it's always, I mean, there is no perfect time. It's, uh, situation finds its own way. So you have to break the strength of temporary life and uh, start chasing your dream and discover your passion, live with your passion and follow your dream. So, then I thought okay, it's very much necessary to the break those trend of stereotypical education like uh, engineering and medical and inspire the youngster to follow their passion, follow their dreams so that they can reach what they really wanted to be instead of living their life throughout the life as a temporary life. So there comes the one week job project. And I, uh, so, it, it, so this is uh, the prime motive of one week job project is just spreading the message, discover your passion change your dream, follow your passion, living with your passion so that you will be live a lively life. So here comes the one week job project. Through one week job India, I worked 28 jobs in 28 weeks in all the 20 states of India. And I have tried every kind of job. Like I started as a photographer and then uh, I started as a photographer, then a market researcher, then a hotel manager, mountain cleaning job, 
the rafting trainee, sevak in golden temples, uh, emotional consultant, the cremation assistant, storytelling instructor to lamas uh, in a monastery. I worked as a play school teacher, a floor host uh, in a bar in Sikkim, then a journalist, uh, polyform worker, rafting trainee, this is the mountain cleaning one, uh, as an emotional consultant uh, in Bangalore. I uh, worked in tea factory worker, hotel manager, uh, and uh, bullet mechanic in uh, Mizoram. And when I was almost jobless, I was selling sundals in Marina Beach, Chennai. So, <laughs> so, so more than that, it was very difficult to selling condoms in rural Bihar. So it was a part of government project. And uh, I had to convince the people in uh, rural Bihar, the, all the pants of or the um, uh, uh, the, the singer, the, uh, what's, what is uh, this, uh, beauty corners, to, uh, to uh, prop, I mean, sell condoms so that people can uh, uh, easily avail. Because in rural India, it's a very taboo thing uh, till today. So that was one of the very difficult uh, uh, selling I did in my life. So throughout the journey, uh, I feel that those people who are living with their passion or uh, they are uh, choosing a career what they really wanted to do, they are very much happy. They are the happiest people I have ever seen. So, and they are very much satisfied with their job. They are very much satisfied what they are doing right now. So whenever in big corporate there is a concept called job satisfaction comes, we usually dig into the issues like HR policy, employee retention rate, manager subordinate uh, relationship, salary hike, uh, or maybe employer recognition. So this kind of things. But no one wants to go to back to basics. The actual root cause started unconsciously and unintentionally from the long back. After the intermediate, when you choose a career to live with that. I mean, after intermediate, if you do, I mean, uh, do engineering, and then medical or something, what you never wanted to. I met thousands of people, and whenever I say that this is what I am doing, then I say, you know, I also wanted to do this thing. I wanted to be something and ended up with uh, something else. That's how in India, someone wanted to be a singer, ended up as a doctor, or someone wanted to be a painter, ended up as an engineer, and someone wanted to be a writer, ended up as a personal banker. So how, how, do, how would you then expect to be satisfied throughout your life? Uh, and how it will be the job satisfaction uh, can happen throughout the life. So that's, that's, that's my prime objective to inspire the people so that they can chase their dream and uh, live, live your life very lively. So the, there are major obstacles while changing your dream. The main obstacles are like societal status and the parental interference. Many parents uh, in, uh, in India till today, uh, they decided before even the kid born that uh, whether he is going to do what. So, and many people when, uh, uh, there are many people who interfere while you ch ch choosing, when changing your dream, uh, that say, okay, you can't do this, this is not a perfect time, you don't have, a, uh, you don't have time, it's very difficult, it's like it's very risky, no one have tried that before, uh, and etc. And many more what if? What if if you will fail? What if uh, people won't accept the, your new ideas? So don't listen to them. It's very important to listen to your inner voice, what you really wanted to do, and uh, rather uh, listening to others. So, so I would like to say don't think too much. Just dare to step ahead. And your passion will drive you towards your, towards your dream. Dream big. Think about uh, what you uh, set up a dream which is not easily accessible. So the perfection comes with the setting of a dream which is not easily accessible. Follow your passion and uh, follow your dream. And that's the way you can uh, reach your dream. And I would like to uh, share one more uh, moment. When I was working uh, as a rafting trainee in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, one of my colleagues said uh, that uh, I know I am loving what I am doing right now. I don't care what the people are thinking about myself. <laughs> but I am very much sure that one day I have my own cruise 
and my last procession will be over there officer without a pilot that man got a dream that's what i would like to say thank you so much